That's a long way down there. That's my patch over there. I'm about I'm about 10 miles to the northeast of of the Beacon and the Downs. This is a place called Sharp and Ho Clappers. It's that Ho name again, Sharp and Ho, Iving Ho, Totten Ho. And this is another promontory hill fort where a, a little peninsula of land sticks out into the vale. As you can see, easily defensible. This was a this was an Iron Age hilltop settlement, a fort. And it's pretty huge, it's massive. Come on Twinkle, should we go for a walk? Come on Twinkle. I'm going to take a walk through the uh, through the settlement, through the fort, and out the other side where there's a nice view. There would be a really nice view, but it's a bit uh, a bit cloudy and snowy and rainy, a bit of it all today. Obviously these beech trees wouldn't have been here. It is nearly all beech as well. Oh, God, filming and walking over these roots. There's a bit of a caper. Uh, come on Twinkle, let's go up. Yeah, it's all beech trees, which is a bit weird. You can hear the A6 in the background, it's only a couple of miles away. The sound seems to travel across, across those fields down below really easily. See, we're still going upwards here. We're within the we're within the enclosure. Uh, we're with, within the fort, but we're still on the outer perimeter of it. Really, it still rises up a bit more. You right there, Twinkle? Good girl. One of the benefits of coming out on a day like this is there's nobody else around. So, uh, lucky little Twinkle there. She gets to be off her lead. And she's good, she walks to hill. She occasionally gets distracted by another dog and tries to follow it home. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think we'll be getting that today. There's bugger all people here, which is how I like it. There's um, loads of little hills and loads of little hills and mounds and uh, pits all over the place in Sharp and Clappers. The clappers comes from an old French word, I think it's clapier or something like that, clapier, which is uh, means a rabbit warren. From medieval times to pretty recently, there was a commercial warrening going on up here. So it can be a bit confusing to know what you're looking at a lot of the time. There are burial mounds, uh, Neolithic and Bronze Age. But you've also got these medieval and more recent rabbit warrens, which are man-made. Yeah, we're nearly at the peak now. On Twinkle. God, I'll tell you what, holding a camera up in front of me while I'm walking really doesn't do my shoulders and my back any good. This is hurting quite a lot. Oh, sorry Twinkle, that trip tripped me over. Right, that's an old war memorial there. Oh, look at all these roots coming out of the chalk. It's magical looking. Like Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. I love it. I don't know what that one did to upset somebody. What exactly is this memorial? Uh, Sharp and O'Clappers was bequeathed to the National Trust by W.A. Robertson in memory of his brothers Norman and Robert. 1916. Ah, chalk. Follow the chalk. This way, Twinkle. So you can see where we've just come from. This, this, this fort is enormous. It's absolutely massive. Way bigger than what was on top of Ivano Beacon. And significantly huge compared to Tottenham Castle. Now we're just about to come upon a very nice sight. Come on, Twinkle. Good girl. Whoa. 
on my back. Jesus. <coughs> Come on, good girl. Right, let's get down here without slipping. Turn to my left, and you'll see a really, really nice avenue of beech trees. Oh, here we go, here's trouble. Good girl, good girl. Oh, double trouble. Hello. See that avenue of beech trees there? Isn't that nice? The way they've all fallen over to make a, a canopy. <laughs> right, let's get out and have a look at the view on the way back. You right, mate? Come on, Twinkle. Quick look back at the fort. We're actually leaving the fort now. That, that bank I've just cl climbed over. That's the southern boundary. And that's the side, interestingly, which um, doesn't have the, the, uh, the geographical benefit of steep cliffs on all the sides. This is where it joins the rest of the hill. So obviously they've got much firmer defences built in on this side. Right. Come on, Twinkle, you're looking wet, girl. You're looking wet. Come on. Over there, that's the Barton Hills. Uh, I'm going to go there next, probably towards the end of next week. And there are springs there, ancient sacred springs, which always perk my interest. So I think we'll, we'll park on Church Road in Barton Le Clay, and we'll walk up to uh, walk up to the springs at the top, which is unusual. I don't get that springs at the top of a hill. I always think of springs as being on lowland. There you go. Out of the fort now. Looking southwest. Southwest towards Dunstable Downs and the Beacon. On a clearer day, you would see the Beacon. Just about there somewhere. You would see the Beacon, but not today. Doesn't know whether it wants to rain or snow. It's doing a bit of both at the moment. Sorry about the wind noise, part and parcel I'm afraid. Adds to the atmosphere I think anyway. Oh look Twinkle, rabbit poo. Where's the rabbits? Where's the rabbits? Nice closing shot from the top of Sharp and Ho Clappers. A little bit northeast of the uh, part of the ridge where I live. I have to start travelling a little bit further afield in each direction, especially especially to the south in the direction of uh, the ridgeway. Right, take care. See you all later. Bye.